<laughs> and um, I go on to say Sec Plus isn't a blue team cert and just search don't get you a role unless you're connected or you're a white woman. I know they got some unnecessary shade right there, but it's kind of true. I know a lot of times when y'all think I either go on these rants or whatever that I'm just talking, but most of my rants are warranted. I have to keep on adjusting this seat. So uh, I had a guy in my Discord a while back, like probably a couple of weeks ago, and they were talking about how they wanted to be a sock analyst. So I said, like, yeah, share your resume. So I looked at the resume. Number one, our resume already let me know that they hadn't did enough for it. Um, based on like what their current background was. And two, they only had one project. And you could probably guess what platform it was from. But uh, I had their name covered up. They might see this. So don't take it the wrong way. It's not definitely specifically about you, but I get access all the time. And I always just like to show receipts. So I'm going to read what I put for the post and then the picture. So for the post, I put context. This person did my sock analyst interview questions, which are like, anytime somebody tell me they want to be a sock analyst and I look at their resume and I don't think it's where it should be, I have you do that and I can assess it. And then, so my, he, I answered it. I said, so I checked your answers and right now you aren't ready to be a sock analyst. Best bet would be to get another QA role and then focus on getting some more skills to do sock work. And their response was, so even though I have my security plus, I can't land a sock job. So of course I posted it on my IG story and then I posted it on X. <laughs> and for people who know, I get this, it's a big N and a little O. I get it from a specific movie. If you like the movie like I do, you should be able to guess it. But I always say that anytime somebody asks me something, I'm like, it's a big N and a little O. <laughs> and um, I go on to say Sec Plus isn't a blue team cert, and just search don't get you a role unless you're connected or you're a white woman. I know they got some unnecessary shade right there, but it's kind of true. I'm so wore out with the security plus I'm so exhausted with it it's 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 great but it is not the end all be all it will not guarantee that you will get a job listen to us please we've been talking about this for a long time the security plus is not going to carry you anywhere if that's all you can say that you have, and we've already talked about this, most folks are just passing the exam, right? They don't actually have the skill set or can have a conversation about what they would do in this scenario or even just talking through a basic cybersecurity situation. They don't even have the terminology. They don't even know what CIA is. Funny enough. That's what uh, Irvin and I was talking about, the basics. The basics of the CIA. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And it's funny because, like, the first chapter of the CISSP... Oh, matter of fact, I didn't tell you all in the beginning. I'm actually back to studying for my CISSP, for real, for real. Like, I'm actually doing okay, it Okay, okay. But the thing I'll give SEC plus credit for, like, I would probably just want to get it and aim better to do something in governance risk and compliance first versus trying to go straight blue team because it's it, it probably I think a section of it shows you some blue team stuff, but it's just not directed towards blue team. So I think a lot of people, for one, just don't have a clear strategy on getting in and they just hear security plus and a lot of times over the years, get your security plus, get six figures has been this thing. And I'm like, more now than ever, if you would have tried that maybe in the pandemic, you might have had a better shot. But now it's it's different. They are trying to hire people that know what they're doing. They're not letting. They're not just hiring people to not do work. Like I said, unless you're a white woman, <laughs> and they can get mad if they ever hear this. But I'm only saying that because from what I've seen in my jobs, those are the people who got hired and shouldn't have been hired. That was their diversity hire. So clock that. And <laughs> was it my boy Rev was like, man, charge these fools uh, way more for asking you that. And I was like, uh, it is what it is. But I mean, I also can work with you, though, if you need help on that. Like typically for people who want to get the skills, I always advocate for just learning blue team level one. And if you learn blue team level one, you should be all right, because. I was able to tell another past client that and he's actually the person that who sent me the screenshot the other day that I also, I don't think I posted it on 
IG yet because I am going to make that an automation to see who actually wants help. So let me share this real quick. So I like when my past clients that they stay in contact with me. So this client, when we started, he had like a rough time because we really had to get that thought process down of working on a blue team. And so we worked, 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 worked. And I was like, yo, get blue team level one. And then once he got that, the interviews became easier because he was able to change how he thought about it. And so he sent me this text. It was late at night. It was 10, 15 one night. And he was like, hey, man, it's been a year since I joined the Paranoids and I'm still doing very well. Recently became the incident commander for the Recently became the incident commander for a vulnerability case, performed very well in threat hunting project, and did very well on the purple team project as well. I'm getting a lot of experience and more confident in myself and the skills I'm gaining. Thank you again, man, for your assistance and hard work. And he's actually been on the channel, so if you can probably put two and two together, you possibly can figure out what crime episode this was. But I was happy that he got with this particular team because this was a team that I was going to be working on once upon a time. And they are very thorough and you learn there's the hardest thing about for a lot of people when they get to roles is you really don't get to a company that not necessarily empowers you to do all these different things, but just really unleashes you and lets you learn so many different things and lets you experience. Like a lot of times people get a blue team role, they're pitching hold to do one thing. And so they really don't grow that much. Whereas some people get into a leaner team and they learn how to do so many different things. Like he just said, he learned how to do be an incident commander. He was working on vulnerabilities. He was doing a purple team project. That's not common for a lot of teams. And so the fact that he's able to be there and thrive now, whenever he's ready and he feels like he's leveled up enough, if he doesn't stay there, he can go somewhere else and say, oh, I want to do purple team or I want to do vulnerability management or I just want to do be an incident commander. But I just like to report the successes of the clients because, you know what I'm saying, we don't lie over here. We, we, we bring the facts and the receipts. Over here, you dig? <laughs> I like that.